Guys, what's happening? Hope you're good, hope you're well. If you've been subscribed to us for a while, you'll notice that I haven't had any videos up lately. I was a little bit bad over the festive period, but I'm back to full health. I didn't get to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, but I hope you all have an awesome 2017. A massive thank you to Georgia. She's the lady that always sends us the products out from Toshiba. If you've watched me other videos, you'll know that she sent us a few other things, memory cards, and this one being a little portable hard drive. The good thing about this, being a portable hard drive is you can just plug it into your TV, your laptop or whatever device you wish to use. You don't need to power it by a plug or any sort of sources or anything like that. I'm going to do the same thing that I always do. I'm going to look around the box, unbox it and then we're going to do a speed test and to see how it's running. So first off we're going to look and it's a Toshiba, it's a USB 3.0 hard drive. 3.0 basically means it's the fastest that you can get. If you do only have a 2.0, it doesn't matter, you can still use it. It's just you're not going to be using it to its full capacity or its full potential. You can see up here, it's a 1 terabyte. If I come here and focus, you can see that is backup software, additional storage, and it's aluminium. I'm guessing that's what the case is made from, some sort of aluminium uh, material. Down here, can view alu. I'm guessing that alu is a quotation to aluminium. On the top here, if I focus again, it's just basically telling you what was on the front and the side is the same. Underneath here on the bottom, we've just got a serial. And on the back, if I'm I'm not even focused, am I? It says it's Super Speeds USB 3.0 and it's a plug and play, which all hard drives are. You just plug them in and use them. And it says backup software and leading innovation. I think that's sort of their little quote, what they use. If I go on here and just focus a bit more, it says requirements, what you need. It's formatted to NTFS, which basically means you can put a file as big as you want. If it was FAT32 for a mobile phone or a PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, you'd only be able to put a file up to 4 gig. Um, it says it's Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8 and 7 compatible. It says it's just depending on your hardware configuration and your operating system. And obviously here it's just telling you what it's set up there, Windows 10 and 8 compatible. Inside the box, obviously, you've got the little uh, portable hard drive itself, the USB 3.0 lead, and the user manual. Down here, this is explaining the difference between a megabyte and a megabit. I think one megabyte, or is it, or is it a bit? I don't know. I think it's either one one megabit equals something like 0 0.953 megabyte, or vice versa. So this, if I focus again, with us having a thousand gigabyte, it's not going to be a thousand gigabyte. It's only going to be about nine hundred and fifty-three gigabyte when you finally plug it in. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pick this off, and I'll be back in a second. I'm back, and I'm going to open this. See what we'll get inside of it. That sticky thing that was on the top of it was actually really hard to get off. God, this box is so stiff. So I'm going to put everything to the side. There's nothing else in there. We've got an empty box now. And this is just your Toshiba support. Something that you'll probably never ever need. So I'm going to put that to the side. And here you've got your little lead. I'm not sure which way this is going to come out. No, it's a sealed bag. So I'm going to unseal it. We've got the little cable tie thing to hold it together. Have I tightened that or loosened it? No, no, I'm loosening it now. So put that to one side and put that to one side. It's only small, you don't need you don't need a massive long one on this. The only thing that I have noticed, my television, I did buy a longer one of these to plug it in because I've got one of these little hard drives anyways. Uh, I think this comes in two parts, so take that out of there. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, it's freezing cold. It's freezing cold. So this is it. It's actually really small compared to the... I've got a WD one, Western Digital, and it's a lot bigger than this one. A lot, lot bigger. Yeah, it is. It's really, really small. It feels nice build quality as well. There's a little line there. I don't know if that glows up. Does that? That might glow up. That might flash. Because when I put my finger across it, it's actually a little gash in the uh, in the hard drive itself. Down here, we've got a nice little Toshiba, as you can see there when I move it round. But apart from that, there's nothing on it. It's simply just plug this in. Make sure you get it the right way. So I'm going that to that. Plug that in. And there we go, that's done. Underneath here, well, there's nothing really you need to see on there. I can show you it if you actually want to see it, but that's it. There's nothing to show you. So what I'm going to do now is plug it in the computer and see what sort of speeds we get. So this is it. I've got it all plugged in. And as you can see there, the Toshiba is the F drive. And size, we've only got 931 gigabyte. 
I did think we were going to get more, but unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. If you go inside of it, you can see we've got two PDF files, both are for your user manual, and this one in the middle, I'm guessing it's some sort of app or program, so you can back up this um, hard drive somehow. If I grab the hard drive, I'll be able to show you that little light over here. I thought it would glow, and it has. It's a nice blue colour. So I'll put that down, and what I'm going to do now is open this which is me crystal disc mark and we're gonna select which one we want which is F did I, did I click that? did I click F? yeah I did click OK and now we're gonna start it and see what sort of speeds we'll actually get as you can see here on the top it does a stage of 5 so obviously that was the first one and this is the second one 112 is good We'll see if we can get any more, but I'm happy with 112. It went up slightly there, a little bit better. Now what it's going to do is the right speed, which is there, which is 110, and that's, that's really good as well, so I'm impressed with that. Went a little bit better there, 111. That does it in five stages as well, as you can see up here, four or five. And that looks like we're done. So the read speed, look, I can't even speak today, the read speed is 112.2 and the write speed is 111.6, which is it's really really good to me so what I'm going to do is close that and what I'm going to try now is drag and drop a file across we'll see what sort of speeds we get sometimes they do go really fast and then all of a sudden they'll drop off I think this file was about 7 gig it's an MKV, it's Harry Potter so I've never actually seen the Harry Potter films so this is the reason I got it because everyone keeps saying to us you're a wizard Harry and it looks like it's holding really well actually it's not dropping I've got a couple of hard drives that go really fast at the start and then all of a sudden they'll just drop off somehow I just think to myself how did I actually manage with a USB 2.0 with the speeds it goes you can see there it's dropped off a little bit closer to the end just my screen was gonna go into what do you call it Um screen saver mode to pick back up again there we're nearly done with 80 percent and like I say it's, it's holding really really well and there we have it it's sent across and if I click on this I'll be able to tell you the properties what size it was Go down here and have a look and it was pretty much 7 gig and if I double tap it we'll see how fast it opens and plays this isn't due to the hard drive it could be due to my computer or whatever but I'm gonna skip a little bit further and it's picking it up straight away it's really really fast but I'm not gonna spoil it for myself because like, <laughs> like I say I've never seen it but um yeah I'm really impressed with this hard drive Let's see I've had loads of other ones, the ones to keep away from in my experience are the Seagate ones, I've had a few of them and they have broke on us, but the Western Digital ones and the Toshiba ones are fine. Um, so that's it, that's the end of the video and thank you for watching.